Yeah, back with another chess word. This time, um, a match we haven't seen before. Uh, brilliancies against Mr. Iali. So, um, yeah, not looking like a very rich uh, Italian, I think this was. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, it was the Italian by transposition. The Evans Gambit. It is declined. Um, here b5 runs into perhaps knight a5. Attacking the bishop, so that would not win a pawn. And, uh, yeah, typical Evans Gambit stuff. Putting uh, these pieces uh, as such. Especially the queen and bishop battery. This is what gives uh, the Evans Gambit this attacking flavor. Uh, yeah, so let's see, let's see, let's see, okay, um, a5 is played, preventing the trapping of the bishop, and now the center is opened up, and brilliance is his thinking, I don't blame him, this, this pawn duo looks very tough to meet, uh, bishop b2 protecting the d4 pawn, yeah, when you have two pawns like this, it's actually usually best to keep them as such, not to advance any one. Because if you advance one, you kind of weaken some other squares. Okay, he chooses to advance now because I think he has something concrete in mind. Um, he's taking, alright. Now there are these knight takes f7 ideas because after knight takes f7 we have three pieces attacking e6. So this is something that's quite worrying, to be honest. Now, having said that, I think this is a possibility, right? Because this uh, knight is here unprotecting the bishop. So knight takes d4, I think, was actually possible. Because the rook here is unprotected, and you attack the queen when you take on d4. So I think this was perhaps a missed opportunity. I haven't calculated maybe enough, but... Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, yeah, now e6, rook takes e6, ends the game. Uh, this isn't as accurate a move order. Here you only win a pawn. Here you only win a pawn. But had you taken with the rook, you win a piece. So yes, this was a rather inaccurate move order. But okay, still, a pawn is a pawn. Having said that though, like this pawn is perpetually weak, actually. Black might be able to recover. What white wants to do is, like, jettison this pawn and get one of these pawns in return. That would be a way to maintain an extra pawn instead of simply uh, keeping defending this extra pawn of his, which is rather weak on d4. So I th so this is exactly what he's going for with rook e7. So after takes twice, he wants to take on c7. But I'm not sure about the validity of that. Okay, he plays rook f7, almost forcing a rook trade. But, uh, yeah, now he's going to win d4, and actually after he wins d4, like, a4 becomes a bit weak. So this was rather misplayed. He was winning a pawn easily, and now, now rook b4, keep maintaining contact here. I guess maybe you could go for counterplay after rook c1, but... Okay, he goes rook d5, preventing this check, which is valid. He's using the knight to protect here. And now, like, both of these players are actually rather fast. I would rate them about... Um, maybe while his uh, brilliancy is slightly faster. About 8, 8.5 out of 10. Which is insane, to be honest. <laughs> That's quite fast. Um, okay, so we're going to see a piece... A, a, a rook trade but yeah a4 is rather weak now knight b6 or knight b2 he's using knight c3 but this knight cannot be maintained for long yeah he's going to win a4 yeah this is this is a cooked deal i think you have two extra pawns on the queen side now uh, the the king here is in a situation to kind of stop both of these pawns while these pawns there's no king stopping them but okay now black is getting in his own king Ah, wow, he picks up even those pawns. Yeah, I think this is a win. Going to be for brilliancies. He picks up that one. King c3 was unnecessary. You could have pushed, but okay, all of that. Yeah. And he wins. Okay, rather close game. Close affair. I think probably it should have gone to... Uh... Wow, we're dropping a lot of frames. 
what's happening. Uh, when did we drop all of these frames? I don't know. Was that in the time scramble or when? I didn't notice. The, these were a lot of frames dropped over here. I should have uh, I should have looked at this. Okay, anyway. This game. Wow, brilliancy is yeah, allowing Bishop H4 check, I'm not sure about that. Because after King F1 you castle and the rook is like opposing your king. So that's that's quite bad. He goes king d2. That's <laughs> completely insane <laughs> that's completely insane amazing okay uh, not sure what's happening with the dropped frames I thought I thought the I thought the connection was quite good today but I don't know anyway seems okay now I'll, I'll monitor this yeah, because uh, two days ago actually it was rather excellent. Anyway, so knight takes d4 is already a threat because this this bishop is this bishop is unprotected. So loose pieces drop off, guys. So you need to do something. Probably bishop h2. Yes, he does that. And uh, maybe knight g3. But I guess knight g3 just go rook e1. Yeah, but then knight e4. Ah, he takes. Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, this dark sweat bishop will be very dangerous, but maybe not so much. Maybe he can play knight bd2 now and uh, yeah, try for something. He's trying instead to play, I guess, king d1 if I had to guess, not king c2. Yeah, king c2, king c2 is impossible now. So he's going to play no knight a3. Interesting. So what's the point with knight a3? Hmm. He's going knight c2 obviously, but I mean, what's the point in terms of the rapidity of this development? I do not know. Okay, queen d3 now. I don't see any tricks. You have to be careful when you put your queen on d3, there are like, yeah, these ideas with checking. Ah, yeah, now be very careful. King c2 loses. King c2 loses to rook e2 check. This is actually a cute tactic. Something I've I've been uh, blundering a lot in my career. <laughs> I blunder these kinds of tactics a lot. So you have to play here. After which there comes this maybe, but no, we trade then. Ah, rook check. Yeah, rook check, but you go here. But then rook e2. Ah, this is for this is losing. No, rook check. No, oh no, rook check. You take with the knight. Okay, that is the only saving grace. Otherwise, white would be lost. But yeah, you you can't you can't be in this situation for long. Actually, g2 is hanging anyway. Yeah, king c2. There was also g2 hanging. So. <laughs> Yeah, but then, then king b3 and maybe you, you escape, kind of, so, I guess. Yeah, it says, it says I'm dropping quite a bit of frames, not sure why. Huh. Maybe I should restart the stream? Okay, I, I mean, it seems fine, but. Yeah. Anyway. So he plays rook e1. Taking on b2 should win, right? What's the defense? Knight c2 maybe? I guess that would be forced. Yeah, obviously black is completely winning here. Uh, knight c2 now, okay, queen g2 another way, but you drop h3, yeah, he does take h3, and now, rook b1, okay, still I would rather play knight c2, knight d3, be careful of moving this knight, because then this would be kind of hanging, okay, white is kind of holding on, 
yeah here yeah you're kind of folding on now of course of course you are down uh, how many pawns we're down here two so uh, that's a problem that is a big problem but he's hiding his king and now it's really a time scramble so the position doesn't matter as much Queen c4 check is coming. Yes, he does play that. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, was a. Okay, now it's all about speed, and it seems brilliance is lacking quite a bit. Whoa, brilliance is being extremely slow. What is this? Oh god, what is this? <laughs> whoa, bo. No. <laughs> Yeah, I just got flagged. No, not even close in terms of speed there. Not even close. Yeah, that was a very strange display, to be honest. Brilliance is usually much faster. Like in some situations, like when the knight came to c4 and pinned you, it's kind of difficult to find moves in that situation. I am aware of that. Um, but still, <laughs> you can't be dropping two seconds every move. Maybe it was a connection issue, I do not know. Anyway, score for IAY. So 1-1. One, one. Starting off as a close match. Um, before that, brilliancy is 1-3-1. One, one. Okay, good to know. Yeah, this line, he's playing h6. I would assume white got what he wanted out of this opening. Yeah, I would say so. Especially now, like, okay, he chooses this. And yeah, now the F file is going to be open. This is very dangerous. This is extremely dangerous. What's up? What's up? And I'm game over, bro. <laughs> Glad to see you here, man. How are you doing? Uh, do you? Uh, do you? I mean, are you going to play a war tomorrow? Against, uh, I think it was Joe, right? Bullet war against Joe on stream. Bishop e6, yeah. Yeah, I have to play bishop e6. Uh, and I'm game over, bro. Suggested this move and it was played. Yeah, bishop e6, you have to oppose this, uh, this scary queen bishop thing going on here. Because it is quite scary. And planning d5, not too scary for black. Yeah, well, now d5 is impossible. I think I think you wanted to play d5 before. Uh, yeah, d4 is a very good reaction because um, you can't play d5 here. I don't know. I'm not going to calculate this now. I would assume. I would assume there's some way to make d5 work, but anyway, we're not going to bother. Yeah, now a a big fork is threatened, so so you have to do something about that. B5. B5, yeah, B5 is a good idea. B5, because if you take twice on B5, you lose the queen. So yeah, B5 is something I didn't notice. B5 is smart, says Pat Zeruk. Yes, yes. And I'm game over, bro, with the professional suggestions here. <laughs> We're not used to this. Yeah, I really like B5. He goes d5 instead. How is this working? Ah, ah, I see. I see the point. Yeah, I see the point. But don't you lose a pawn? Yeah, you lose a pawn here. No, 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 you don't lose a pawn. Okay, this is equal. Yeah. Okay, now, though, does this work? Does this work? Um, Rook d4. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. But maybe you get enough material for the queen. Not after this. I was thinking maybe it takes, but then he would take... Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. Bishop g4. Yeah, that wasn't on anyone's radar, man. Okay, he takes. And after all is said and done... Queen c5 check, right? Yeah, queen c5 check is a big move. Uh, this is, yeah, pawn up for black. This was actually a brilliancy, <laughs> I have to say. This is some very precise and high level calculation, actually. Very impressive. Very, very impressive, actually. 
Now this was. Uh, I'm not sure. Like I think no, I think it was working actually. I think it was working. Now, can you bail out with queen before? Hmm. A nice play by the boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very complicated stuff for a blitz game. Needs to be like classical or something, or maybe rapid. Def, def classical. Um, okay, goes queen b2. c6. Okay, reasonable. I would just play rook e8 to be honest, but c6 also very reasonable. Um, yeah, this, this bishop is doing a wonderful job. Aggressive intentions and defensive duties. So beautiful. Let's go. Queen takes h3 somehow. Are we going to see that? Now the rook is threatened. He defends it as such, but he drops this. Yeah, you... you mm, this is not so accurate. He might have these ideas now. So watch out. I guess you can take though and threaten queen takes. That's what should be done. This is also very strong. Because now g2 is hanging. Yeah, take g2 with the bishop. He's really making this harder on himself, brilliancies, but I think this is winning. Yeah, um, what are you thinking about queen takes h3? Game over, bro. Yeah, just this and check his mate. Alright, 2 1 for brilliancies. Um. Do we switch to IOI's perspective? Okay, after this game, maybe. Yeah, or let's do it now. Let's do it now. Uh, okay, oh, the Nemzovich. This is a bad line for white, actually. So here... Yeah, taking on f6, this really helps black develop. Black is... Like, white probably has a very, very minor pull here still. I mean, it's difficult to go wrong against the Nimzovich, but... Mm, like, already here, no, I think now black is... I, I wanted to say more than fine, but no, it's not that much. It's It's, it's probably equal. Now though with these pawns, you kind of get this Dutch kind of feel here. Now the, the thing is in these structures if queen b3 or c4 are possible then then white is doing okay, probably better. But if they're not possible, then black uh, can, can claim to be maybe slightly better due to the, the stronghold in the center, the kingside space. And the more active pieces. Yeah, knight d2 seems like a step in the wrong direction. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Oh, now he's dropping a piece. <laughs> yeah, Brilliancy has uh, played this game very badly, I think. From, from the opening... Uh, knight e4 and queen g6. Um... Yeah, this is what he played. But like knight e4, you, you're afraid of queen b3, right? Hitting these two pawns. It's not so easy. It's not so easy, I would say. Uh, but uh, Brilliance did not go for that, and now he's going to lose a, a queen. A, a piece. Yeah, game over, bro, saying that was bad. Yes, uh, the, this game... Um, like Brilliance uh, showed... Uh, uh, brilliant calculation in that previous game. Now rook takes f3 simply wins. Rook takes f3. I'm not sure you really need to work uh, to look for better. Now you do look for better, of course, but um, here it's not necessary. You're just winning at least the two minor pieces against the rook, and you even have the attack to boot. So he just gives up the piece, which is. Like, in general... Oh, he's dropping it. Another piece. Yeah, take h4. Please. 
Why is he not taking? Yeah, okay. And he resigns. Yeah, queen b3 I thought was quite annoying. And these structures, uh, like these ideas, queen b3 and... Uh, and c4, if you can make them work as white, you can still claim to have some sort of edge. <laughs> ah, game over, bro. You're aware of the... The culture. The, the terminology. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a show in Lebanon, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? I would say... White should have an edge, right? With this, with the center. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would think so. I would think so. But uh, it's not clear how to develop your pieces, right? And of course the knight belongs here. Maybe he's considering this, but this drops a pawn, right? So you need to maintain your queen uh, overlooking d4. Uh, knight c3, I guess. Why is he taking so much time? Here is when I get a bit scared that I lost connection or something. <laughs> okay, he goes knight c3. Uh, the question I had was this bishop. Maybe we just put it to f4 and forget about it. But always there's this knight h5. Then maybe we go back to e3 and kind of ask the knight what it's doing there. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not, uh, for you guys on YouTube, I'm not repeating what uh, Anam Game Over Bro was saying because it's like Lebanese pop culture. <laughs> that was when you were 11 till 13, if I recall correctly. Uh, Anam Game Over Bro. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, he's he's banking on knight takes e4, knight takes e4. Sorry for the arrow. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Knight takes e4, knight takes e4, rook takes e4, and knight e5. That's the tactical point, I guess. Now there's no need for that tactical point, but don't you lose d4? Yeah, bishop takes f3 is quite strong. That was missed. That was a big move. Bishop takes f3. Yeah, that was a miss. Bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, knight takes d4. Forking, uh, b3 and f3. So that would be rather problematic. Something like that. Alright. Uh, now maybe you could... <laughs> maybe you could be his coach now. <laughs> no... But seriously, yeah, game over, bro. Your your blitz ratings are scary. <laughs> Especially the results you do on Title Tuesday. I need to do my YouTube account. Sorry, never got to it. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, it's it's kind of weird because many people like make YouTube accounts and stream from there, and they never have Twitch. But you're kind of the reverse. You only stream on Twitch and don't have YouTube. I would say that's rarer, but I, I do know some streamers who did that, right? Um, like, probably Naka, right? Like, Naka's YouTube channel and Chess Bros, they're more, they were more Twitch-centric. But even they, like, they're working on YouTube as well now. Um, by the way, I think F3 could be a rather annoying move. Weakens a lot of squares, makes this bishop look silly, but... I would say f3 is reasonable. Yeah, anyway, um, you definitely need to make YouTube because uh, it's seeing growth, man, in these times. So, uh, yeah, it's important, I think. Don't take with the queen. Knight takes c7. Yeah, he doesn't. But now, he's dropping d4. Okay. Like, this d4 pawn, uh, <laughs> twice it wasn't taken. <laughs> Knight c7, was that available? Uh, is that available at another point? Maybe an increment blitz game over, bro, but definitely not in, uh, 
in uh, non-increment blitz and probably without uh, with increment I think you, you're still stronger at blitz uh, I'm pretty sure he's stronger at classical though but blitz I would say I would say we're talking about uh, a famous FM in Lebanon named Antoine Antoine Assis um, yeah and I think uh, I think game over bro can uh, can beat him in blitz even with increment okay that's a nice fork yeah probably theoretically I guess black has the bigger chances maybe not clear yeah well whites whites control over the light squares are nice as well but a five is very anti-positional giving this bishop the c5 square I guess he's going for broke though okay yeah, this is <laughs> this is very nervous. Ooh, <laughs> this is very nervous chess here we're seeing. But yeah, I think yeah, IAY is much faster. Okay, three two, IAY taking the lead. Let's switch to brilliancy's perspective. Uh, knight c seven instead of f three. Okay, sorry, I uh, <laughs> that uh, that part is long gone. Or still, he match offer accepted. Ah, they're playing now. Hold on, but we can take a look. I was suggesting f3 where. Ah, here knight takes c7. Ah, nice. That's a nice shot. Uh, game over, bro. We didn't notice that. With the classic. Classics. Oh, it's not smothered, mate. It's not smothered, mate, because the queen covers. But I mean, you pick up this bishop. That's good enough. Anyway, so now let's take a look from Brilliancy's perspective. Again, he's going for this line. Um. Yeah, I would say black even has an advantage now, right? Annoying. Yeah, this is quite annoying to play as white. If we could maybe make e5 work. Maybe. Yeah, there was no mate there. Yeah, because the queen covers, which is annoying when you get these uh, smothered mate things. Actually, this uh, the mate at the end is called smothered mate. The entire tactical sequence is called Philidor's legacy, but <laughs> that's just semantics. That's just semantics. Can we bet on knight g5, queen takes h2, mate? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Now, the threat is rook takes f3 and h2. And h3 doesn't work because, again, rook takes f3, g takes f3, queen takes h3. So h3, rook takes f3, takes, and queen takes h3, is mate in 2. Black is better, yeah. Yeah, he, he saw the need to give up a pawn. This is almost over, yes. Well, he, he's giving up a pawn. So it's not going to be immediately over, but... Yeah, technically speaking, this is over. Brilliant Seas is not playing very well against this uh, Nimzovic. And I would actually re recommend for him, he's a lifelong e4 player, but maybe trot out d4 or something, I don't know. And now knight g4 might be an annoying move as well. Probably you can always meet that with bishop f4, he does bishop f4 immediately. Yeah. Mm, what about knight c4? Is that annoying us? Yeah, knight c4 seems to win a pawn actually. Um, here, knight c4, you go, let's say, queen c1, I can't take. You can't take back because I take here. I don't know. He goes for this instead. Here I would say, like, like here it wasn't even necessary to go back to g3. You could have nabbed the spawn. Then e5 would follow and queen takes d5 check. Which I'm not sure what the evaluation there is, actually. Yeah, maybe it's better to go retreat. Maybe. 
95, no choice. Yeah, he was forced to play 95, that's true. And well, now the uh, the knight is forced back to h6, right? And this is not so good for black. Which miner to keep? Yeah, that was the question there. And he decided for this, which is... Which is... Like, why... The, under those circumstances, why getting to this position, it's amazing. Uh, he's making... He's making use of the back rank here. Yeah. I guess one easy way to meet that would be queen e2, but then knight h6 and you get knight f5 and I'm not attacking e6, so... Okay, he does this. King g1. Yeah, at least, like, if ever something happens, you can escape. Mm. Knight f5. But now maybe rook here. Seems very reasonable. But then queen g6. Knight h2 before... Okay. Um, so here, what's the deal here? Bishop f2, controlling the knight. Bishop f2 seems very reasonable. Yeah. Okay, he's going for broke. I would not have so quickly played here. Again, I think being greedy was rather okay. And yeah, now he's going for broke. This is terrible play by white, I would say. Just moving your bishop back and forth. You have to find an improvement. And now f3 is collapsing. Yeah, knight h4 was brilliant. GG. Game is over. And now f2 collapses. Yeah. That's a big one. Wow. IOI showing... Wow, queen b1 check. Very accurate. IOI showing brilliant technique. Alright, so 4-2. Yeah, we'll stick with brilliancy's perspective until he wins a game. I say until, but uh, there's also an if. Don't mean to discourage here, but that's always a possibility. Uh, IOI has gained a lot of rating also <laughs> from this match. So yeah, not a lot, lot, but quite a bit. Anyway, um, so this setup with the fiend Keto, yeah, we've seen this before. Hey, game over, bro. Welcome back. No need to apologize, man. Um, is is uh, is it going back to busy, uh, bu busy, <laughs> to busy with work or? Uh, is it still stable? Black won, yeah. Yeah, black uh, black dominated, in fact. Black won brilliantly there. But brilliancy has missed a lot of chances there, I have to say. Okay, this position. H6, I guess. Hmm. I mean... Like, this bishop seems misplaced, right? I mean, I would love to have it here. <laughs> but here it's like biting on nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. I, um, rook f6. Seemingly aggressive, but you always have these ideas with, like, knight here and queen and, like, bishop. Like, I don't know. For the moment, this doesn't seem quite good. Um, game over, bro. Saying Iali should change openings with white. He's had two bad white openings. Yeah, I would say so. Wait, do you mean Iali or uh, brilliancies? We'll quiet down by next week. Awesome. Then we can do some more wars. Then <laughs> I don't like F6. Yeah, F6 seems rather weakening. I agree. This is, this is all very weak, especially with this, like, bad stuff is bound to happen. Not immediately, but soon. But, you know, there's always th these shots, so not, not something to take lightheartedly, I would say. 
Okay, now, but now we kind of get a glimmer of what I was talking about with queen takes. Oh, he goes to rook e8. Kind of pinning yourself though. Not sure I can get behind this move. I would have much preferred to play something like bishop f5 and keep your structure fluid. Yeah, the bishop d2, very sneaky move, intending knight g5. Brilliant season. Yeah, I was thinking because... Like, uh, I don't like, th I wasn't liking this position at some point so much for white. And uh, brilli brilliancy seems to have a nice system against uh, the King's Indian attack, which Yali always plays. But uh, but the the one who should change openings is brilliancy, because the, the line he's playing against the Nemzovich is A, very, not very bad, but questionable. And the way he continues playing the position is actually quite bad. So he was getting very bad positions in the Nemzovich, which is uh, just costing him the match, basically. So yeah, brilliancy should either try a new line or switch to another opening entirely. Meaning d4. Okay, queen f7, I mean, now you can kind of see a glimmer of hope for black with these ideas. I would say def bishop e4 now, right? With ideas such as this. Yeah. No, no strange things with the pin here. I mean, nothing going on. We can probably take with the rook. Okay, getting rid of this is probably quite a big help. I would snap that off immediately. He goes bishop d3 intending to take here, but he loses the queen. <laughs> Ouch! Wow, this might be this might be the turning point of the match, because I mean, Brilliancy was doing fine, and if you notice, like he's doing well on the clock, but yeah, no, this is not going to end well. Bishop on b6 is sad. Yeah, this was a problem piece for ages. I was talking about how this bishop really belonged on e7 in these structures. So, yeah, that's that was quite terrible. Yeah, d5, d5 was, uh, d5 was a big issue. You should have kept it on the, the, the b1, h7 diagonal, man. Okay, everything is dropping now. But AY is really down on time, and with the two bishops, you're going to lose definitely. <laughs> yeah, rook e7, that's a precise move. Maybe bishop e7. Bishop b8, come on, man. Allowing the queen to get in and, like, being really passive. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he'll find his way. Uh, yeah, his mate is threatened and it's unstoppable, actually. Okay, uh, no, he can't take, never mind. But, yeah, it's close. Okay, actually, if you can fly now, somehow... Oh, that's a big one, though. Yeah, no, I think I, IOI is pretty darn fast. Look at the pre-moves. Ooh, mate. Alright, 5-2. How many games in a row has he won? Four games in a row. Wow. Yeah, it was 2-1. <laughs> and brings his favor. Yeah, we're watching, we're watching pure and utter destruction here. Black had to focus on that rather than play for f6 and open up with a piece down practically. Yeah, the b6 bishop was a big problem. So what you're saying that uh, black should have played... Uh, black should have played... Not played for f6 and instead improved his bishop. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Game over, bro. Now, this is another line of the Nemzovic, but this is even worse. <laughs> This is even worse. Actually, no, no, it's it's not worse than the other line, probably. But, I mean, white uh, black gets a lot of play in this line. Probably you should try something like knight b2, knight c4. Though, like knight c4 is a, is not a stable square. I don't know. He does this, which is rather strange, to be honest. I don't like this kind of thing going on. Okay. 
Um, okay, he goes simply king b8. Yeah, question is how to develop. Maybe he'll play this or launch an attack here. C6. We we're talking uh, about the early earlier game. C5 or C6, bishop C7 or A4, bishop A5. Yeah, these are very reasonable options to activate uh, the bishop in that game, yes. Um, of course, I'm not going to show them now. We have a game to look at, but uh, yeah, very nice suggestions. So yeah, that was, uh, that was Brilliancy's big problem. But I mean, even then, like he got an okay position. But uh, just just blunder d5. Yeah, that's I would have snapped off that bishop on g2 immediately. Too many risks. Too many risks with that bishop. Okay, this end game, <laughs> like it's dead equal. But knights and blitz are very tricky. At some point, someone will blunder a fork and blunder a pawn. And at th that point, I don't expect it to be very far from now. <laughs> to be honest, I expect. I expect a blunder to come very soon. <laughs> it's like already now this is a threat, right? So if he plays this, actually he's losing a pawn by force now. See, I told you guys. <laughs> I know from experience it's difficult to play with the knights and blitz. Very inspiring end game. Pat the rook, don't be like this. Isn't a classical game. Don't be uh, so so critical of the. Of the dryness or rather drawish tendencies of such an endgame. I think as we see now, white won a pawn and now maybe black will win a pawn. <laughs> uh, yeah, after knight f4 you're forced to go king f1 because king f2 would run into knight d3 check with a fork. I hope you guys got that. Yeah, let's see. I, I King f2 will be played. <laughs> it will be played. <laughs> yeah, you had to play king f1. Oh, he misses knight d3 check. Okay, because he wanted to protect this guy. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. But now, now it's going on. I guess we go king g3. Yeah, probably king g3, right? Come on, knight d6. Man, these checks what happen. You can't. Uh... Yeah, this this is coming, right? Not now. <laughs> Maybe a four. Okay, protecting the pawn is sensible, but you're going to pick it up anyway. Or not. Not liking what happened here. <laughs> for both sides. No, not for both sides, of course not. <laughs> for white, probably. Bishop takes c6 earlier. Um, game over, bro. If you could give me the move, please. Um... Because I, I, if I backtrack now, it's going to take a while. <laughs> Good call on dropping a pawn. Man, I just know, I just know. From experience. F4 is not the pawn you want to be pushing. But... Yeah, classic race situation. I would assume white is faster, but... Anything goes now. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, these pawns are very menacing as well. I don't know. I would say white is faster, but... He's doing many things to be slow here. He's even running in with the king. Wow. Ah no, this is this is just going to be liquidation at this point. Right? I don't know. Now if he doesn't even take the knight. Okay, not taking the knight is strange. Because what do you lose if you take the knight, right? Like you're just going... I don't know. Seems rather strange to me. Okay, now you can push this probably. Ah, this was, this was bad. And he's going for the draw, which is... Not good. Okay, let's see. He's going to try to flag him. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Power went out here, guys. Bear with me. He's going to try to flag him. Instead, he gets flagged. Brilliancy is what in the... 
No, brilliancy, seriously? Take the draw, man. He got flagged instead. <laughs> I'm so happy. Why, Pat Zeruk? Wow, this is a long power outage. What happened? <laughs> I guess you'll have to see me in the darkness. <laughs> Take that, flaggers. <laughs> Yeah, Padzeruk has uh, has a number with flaggers. <laughs> he has a he has a has a, has a score to be settled with flaggers. <laughs> so he's happy. Brilliancy is lost that. Yeah, brilliancy is okay. I appreciate the flag actually. I really like it. But uh, when the when you see yourself getting like a second versus a second, just take the pawn, man. You always have that option. He was too insistent on flagging, I believe. Okay, now it's 6-2 and... Uh, brilliancy is... Uh, seriously, what happened with the power, guys? This is this has never happened. <laughs> God. Okay, anyway. I mean, for people... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Not so brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, bro. Says you look sexy in the dark. <laughs> that, uh, that's uh, I could take that as a compliment, but that probably means like in the light when you can see my face, I don't look so good. So when the darkness is hiding my face, I look better. <laughs> that could be interpreted that way, huh? <laughs> uh, Crazy though, we've never had such a long power outage. Anyway, this will make for fun content, for fun memes. F6 is collapsing. Yeah, I think I think it's not F6 that's collapsing. I think it's brilliancy that's collapsing. Halim says 7-3, that's my guess. No, I I doubt brilliancy is going to win this game. I doubt it. Yeah, what's knight takes f6 check? What's the intention? Take? And bishop takes? Um, yeah, doesn't seem so good, no? I am yes. Hello. <laughs> Can queen? No, queen g4 is stupid. He takes. Yeah, I mean, this is just seven pawns up for white. How many pawns? Uh, one pawn. No, equal, equal pawns, actually. Okay. Ah, c6 can be played now. Hold on. Hold on. What happened? Oh, God. Did I lose? Ah. I keep doing this. God. My bad, guys. Hold on, as I bring the clocks back. <laughs> Whoops. So let me bring the clocks back. Where is the Windows Capture and OBS? Here it is. Uh, okay. Trying to work in the dark, not recommended. I didn't mean to do that. Um, seriously, where is the the alt button? I mean, we can do with this for now. Kind of. Hold on, I think I got it. Yeah. Now we have to make this bigger. And you're going to see <laughs> the zone over here. I mean, we had, like, this is a sandwich stream. 
we had uh, we had some lag issues at first then everything was fine then um, almost at the end of the stream we have some really really weird power outage which really sucks why is it taking me so long because I'm kind of annoyed by what happened and kind of like sad about what happened because like if this power outage never happened before is this a bad sign of uh, more power outages hopefully not okay I think though the stream won't be ending at least for now because brilliancy seems to have an extra pawn which is passed but he's spending a lot of time this is a nice maneuver ah wow he wins okay okay goodbye game over bro nice there's one when are you planning a stream with lefong don't leave us just yet Le game over bro i, I almost called called you lefong bro <laughs> okay yeah brilliancies will get this yep i thought that was a stalemate <laughs> But no. Let's make this a bit bigger. Yeah, okay. So back to the Snimzovich line. I think you can take and ask ask black some important questions uh, ask white some important questions yeah that's a big one knight c3 i guess yeah okay white shouldn't be that much worse here but the uh, these positions like classic uh, classic stuff over here d4 and c3 come under very very heavy pressure hello Adib what's up you're watching a stream in the darkness for the first time in this channel's history <laughs> all right so um, d4 looks questionable but I guess he's banking on for example takes 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 something like a3 takes takes and there's queen b7 something like that but that seems very obscure actually but it made it made uh, Yali a bit uh, averse to uh, to choosing that decision so he goes with this instead and he's really down on time a minute on the clock so maybe this will be a brilliant comeback by brilliancies maybe this will be a comeback by, by brilliancies let's see are we going to whoa iy taking too much time here come on iy do something okay g5 very very nice move actually just going haywire on the king side i love the spirit of it i'm not sure technically it's working because of stuff like this yeah a3 and now if you take on c3 but you know the knight is kind of blocking these ideas but how long for how long i don't know now thing is bishop g4 check is met by f5 so maybe that's good and this is impossible due to the queen and even if it weren't due to the queen you don't like to open the g file even though you do have a light square bishop protecting g2 but okay he takes on f7 which is 
Rather scary. I guess he's banking on Queen E6 check. Yes. So he gets out of that with a tempo. And before... Alright, alright. Queen is running short on squares, huh? Wow. Yeah, it is. He goes here. Can we not take on E7? Or D6 for that matter? And win a piece? Yes, I think so. Right, if you take here. I take back. And you take here. Yeah, this is a piece. Okay. Wow, okay. So my eyes have to adjust to the slide. Uh, I guess you can take on E7 probably. Yeah, why not? I would take on e7, definitely. No reason not to. Usually you want to be safe, and if you pick up a piece, just retreat in a corner and stuff like that, but there's no need here. You're simply up a friggin... A friggin two pieces, so... Yeah, it's it's like... Uh, I feel sorry for IOI because we've never watched his games. <laughs> Because at first we were, uh, we didn't watch his games because uh, because Bri we wanted Bri uh, we were waiting for Bri Bri Oh, that drops the queen. Uh, he didn't notice that. That was a trade or retreat move. That's a very nice move to remember. You put the queen on square. You either force the queen to trade or retreat somehow, uh, or retreat to f7 actually, or maybe go to h4. That wasn't really a technically a trade or retreat, but anyway. Yeah, so we were uh, waiting for brilliancies to win a game, to be able to uh, to then switch to IOI's perspective, but he went, uh, like, IOI reached six games, one. So then we were forced to look at brilliancies games because he's on the losing side. Now, having said that, th this is 6-4 now, but we've been giving brilliancies a bit too much time in the limelight. Let's switch to IOI's perspective. If he wins this game, he wins the match. So as usual, when I'm looking at the board from someone's perspective, I like to make that someone's ideas work because it's kind of like me playing. So I kind of imagine myself being uh, the white player here and uh, going for uh, trying to win as white here. So having said that, here I would love to play f4. It's a very aggressive move. Pushing pawns, gaining space. I love it. H4. That's a more classical King's Indian attack approach. But here it's not like the classical King's Indian attack moves of knight d2 and f1. Like these aren't really working because we've traded a pair of pieces, right? We've traded this knight for this bishop. So, so yeah, this isn't a typical King's Indian attack. So I don't really like h4. I would much rather have played f4. Okay, to each his own. I mean, probably both are good. Or probably both are bad. <laughs> Who knows? Stockfish knows. <laughs> probably. Maybe it doesn't sometimes. Now we're going into an engine debate. So let us avert that. <laughs> By the way, now the overall score, there's 7-7, seven, seven, which is rather funny. Okay, so what's going on here? I still like white, I would imagine, yeah. Um, though, yeah, e4. Like, f3 doesn't work, you take on g3. He chooses this. Huh. Ah, after queen takes e5, he wants to play knight d2. Which shouldn't be winning, really, but valid. You know, I think, I think we have, uh, no, that doesn't, uh, bad the rook d5, um, yeah, I, uh, you were talking about, uh, 14 d5, yeah, that was good. I was thinking this, no, this seems crazy though, there's, I was imagining like queen takes e5, knight f3 check, but obviously there's a knight covering that, so <laughs> that doesn't work. F5, wow. He's going for it, guys. Look at this, look at this. That's rather strong. Knight F3. 
forcing the queen to go to f6 probably I would I would think so not f6 okay yeah white has some issues to solve maybe no f4 now f4 now be careful f4 is be careful but maybe f4 now and sack probably crazy though ah f4 now if bishop takes you have this yeah i th uh, i think that was a missed opportunity anyway Queen takes e4 would work had it not been for this pawn. Take and f4, yeah, I, I thought f4 was good because you can take on h4. Anyway, not played. So now maybe we can imagine stuff like this. c5 might be a very annoying move, activating the bishop with these ideas. After f5, could he play f3? Um, you mean f4, I think, right? Um, f3 in that line. I have to remember. Maybe we can take a short look. So we're talking about f5 here. f4 here, f3. No, he drops g3 immediately here. And yeah, now, now it's not possible. Okay, so IOI a bit up on time. And this position is okay. Maybe. No, um, probably with the strong knight, yeah. But I mean, the bishop is covering the important squares. Now, rook e5, collinear move, just putting your rook. Mm. Okay, but now. Now d4 could be dangerous. Let's see, let's see. Ah, wow. Okay. Isn't this losing? No, it's not. Is it? I'm not sure. Very complicated. Um, I think you have a lot of tempos to waste here, though. Ah, you even have a past one. Yeah, this is losing. Yeah, this is losing. Yeah. Wow. Look at brilliancies go. What in the world? What in the world? Brilliancy is winning on demand. Okay, let's see. Maybe a stalemate? No, he just resigns. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy match. Three in a row. Okay. This is insane. Look at this streak here, guys. And then the streak after it. Hello, hello Ahmed Rahili, welcome, whoa, 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 I've missed a lot of the chat guys, what's up everyone, forgot about the war, what's up Beilouf, f3 then queen g3, Beilouf why you have a sword, <laughs> ah there was, there were no quality options, what's up Dr. 1000 like you, uh, when you showed up Beilouf, Dr. 1000 like you showed up, are you guys married or something? <laughs> What's up, Ahmed Rahili? What's up? Everyone, everyone. <laughs> Dr. Monthouse, like you left? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Samir. Samir says, I have uh, a, nice, a nice beard. Thank you a lot. <laughs> I look like a Viking. IOI king of pawn and games? No, <laughs> didn't seem like that. Um, no quality options means that I'll still be watching the stream. And Fishy ended the stream, played the 100 Blitz games, had dinner and slept. <laughs> <laughs> Beilouf is a long time supporter of the channel Ahmad I would love to give you a sword man uh, But I think I'm giving too many swords <laughs> At some point this channel will be more mods than normal users <laughs> 
All right. So What's going on in this game, huh? We're looking at this from IY's perspective. He is equal on material, but he has a space advantage in the center of the board, at least with e4. But of course, white has the bishop pair. I would say white's chances are greater, because the knight on c6, it's difficult to imagine a good square for it. And the bishop on c8, for that matter, like if it goes to e6 now, d5 is coming with a fork, so... <laughs> So I was talking about this, d5, so yeah, not sure, not sure. Now light squared pressure is being, is being added. Swords are earned, not given. <laughs> Beluf with the wise words. Bad Zeruk, I don't like this for white. I think I do now. I don't know what, what position you're referring to. <laughs> Bowling tournaments, yeah. If you guys don't know, I really love bowling. <laughs> and Beiluf has accompanied me to lots of bowling. Um, we'll be the moderator's channel, not bad. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Now, at some point... Uh, <laughs> at some point, we'll be getting some... Uh, Trolls, so uh, I hope the swords can be put to good use. Yeah, that's true. Doctor One Thousand IQ is telling Ahmad he got the sword because he is very active on streams. Doctor One Thousand IQ, he he told me once he never missed a stream, and I thought about it, and he was right. Knight takes d five is a big threat. No, is it? Yeah, it is. Tuk tuk. Big threat. Yeah, bishop takes a7 is a bit neither here nor there. Ah, still, still, not such a big deal. Actually, to be honest, this might have even helped, <laughs> helped white. No, it couldn't have. Maybe. What's the material count? Wow, he didn't take d6. Why not? Was there a big issue with taking d6? Okay, he's trying for some such, maybe. Joke saying, what's up? Whoa, you're you're extremely late, man. <laughs> if everyone is getting his... <laughs> Beiluf, yeah, that kind of sounds like a Spartacus situation, huh? I'm back to... Oh, bishop c4 at some point. Watch out. Watch out. But he has supreme control over this square. Yeah, that's not happening. Brilliance is spending some time here. Ah, bishop c4 now. Difficult to find the move for black. Man, this is just crazy. This is... Knight takes a 4. Come on. No, knight takes a 4 doesn't work. Uh, queen h5, okay. Kind of feel like an accident is waiting to happen here. Ooh, he dropped... No, he didn't drop the rook. Um, okay, it's all about speed now. All about speed. Look at the speed. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Wow, what a way to end the match, guys. Ah, <laughs> crazy. That's beautiful. Beautiful in the flagging sense. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I think Joksing, you came in right, right on time, actually, to see this. Your beard reminds me of the first month of Corona when I didn't shave and looked like a caveman. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't cut my hair since Corona started, a bit before, actually. <laughs> yeah, wow, what a crazy one. Yeah, imagine if Brilliancy won, won that, though. That would have been an insane comeback. He would have won four in a row after IOI would have won five in a row. 
crazy absolutely crazy and uh, you could see the speed here but i think what got him i think um it's this move rook takes h5 this like here when you're playing white and in a time scramble it's difficult to find the move for white it takes you like a second to find that this is the legal move you start pre-moving this and this and nothing works so not pre-moving rather playing quickly so you have to take this and this this cost him some seconds we can find out how many seconds <laughs> clutch with the dollar patron donation yeah yeah so how many seconds oh even more than a second it cost him eh, like 1.7 not just one second 1.7 yeah this this cost him the match rook takes h5 brilliancy of the match actually this is the brilliancy of the match yeah, and uh, this this uh, he was pre-moving with the king though he started like he re realized he had to just move the king to get out of the checks but too little too late and here like I don't know maybe he was trying to run like this but didn't get it in time I don't know that cost him a mouse I bet <laughs> yeah man probably probably <laughs> That's quite infuriating, I agree. Especially when you were coming back from such a score. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be I'll be ending the stream here, guys. Stick around, we're going to raid someone. Please stick around, guys. Okay? Just a minute and we will raid someone. And there goes the power again. <laughs> awesome timing. Okay, we raid someone.